Hello, all my fishes in the deep blue sea. My name is Ethan York, and today we got a video that's coming right at you, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about today is bugs and how they can surprise you when you least expect it. Now, a couple days ago, I went to a baseball game. No, I was not watching the baseball game. I was playing in the baseball game because I have to find some way to keep up with my 24-inch pythons. Needless to say, when I needed to get home, I got home and I was hungry, and because my parents don't like to feed me, I had to eat junk food. So, I went upstairs, opened up a nice big package of Jumbo Jack Link's Original Beef Jerky, and scrounged down the whole thing. And then, like I do, because it's like 10 p.m. and I'm an old man, I go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, you know, I'm going through my regular routine, you know, taking a shower, putting all that unnecessary gel in my hair, bathing in cologne so people actually want to talk to me. And then I go to take my watch off the charger because, yes, I have a watch that needs a charger. I take it off its little platform and there's this giant, like, plateau of, like, 50 billion ants coming to attack me. So I would do what any normal human being would do and I just grabbed a freaking disinfectant wipe and just committed genocide of the entire ant race. But apparently smacking a freaking ant with my entire hand, which is not a very big hand, but I smack the ants and just like obliterate them. And then I lift up the thing and you see all these ants that aren't moving. So I'm like, okay, I'm walking on my way about to throw this thing in the towel. And then they all just decide to resurrect it once and crawl on my arm. Now see, I have bad history with ants, okay? Me and the ants have a mutual disrespect for each other. They have done some horrible things to me. And I've tried to do horrible things to them, but ants just don't die. They keep coming back to haunt me. When I was little, there was this tree in my backyard, and I saw some movie where somebody climbed a tree. I was like, I should be doing that. So I went to climb the tree. And because I didn't ask, it turns out this tree that I was climbing on was a hub for ants. So as I climb on this tree, keep in mind I'm like six years old, so I was about four inches shorter than I am now. I try to climb the tree and all of a sudden I turn black and my first instance is like, whoa, race change. And then all the ants start biting me and I'm stuck with like these weird like herpy bumps on my arms for the rest of my existence. So needless to say, I do not like ants. Come to think of it, I don't like any type of bugs, whether it's wasp, bees, fr I don't give a frick. If you're a flying creature that's an insect or a spider or uh, spiders, no. So, this is a public service announcement. If you are an ant, stay away from me. I'm done with your torment. Now, the next thing I want to talk about today is getting balls by the ladies, and it happens quite often if your name is Ethan York. So, uh, over the last uh, period of, let's say, mm, five months, I have been talking to, we'll just call this a girl, so I don't have to single out people and make them feel horrible, but they should. I'll talk to somebody, we'll be like, yeah, we should totally go to the movies or something. And then we'll just never talk for like three months until the same conversation comes up again. We're like, hey, we should go to the movies sometime. Okay, that sounds like fun. We'll set a time. Never speak ever again. Like I said in my last video, when I go to the movies with my dad like two weekends ago, out of all the times I was supposed to go to the movies, the one time I actually go, it was not supposed to be with my father. I was all excited a couple weekends ago. I was like, yes, I found a cure for blue balls. I could finally check that off my to-do list. But apparently, the world has just set out for me to be blue balls for the rest of my life, and it is never going to go away. So if you guys have a recipe to cure my blue balls, let me know down in the comment section below because I could really use your help. Now, the last and final thing I want to talk about about today is a multitude of topics. We have crazy neighbors, wussy friends, and just all out stupidity. Now, like you've seen on a couple of my videos that I posted, I like playing this game called sock ball where you take two socks and wrap them in tape. Now, because my neighbors are inconsiderate and they park in their own garages blocking our playing field, we had to go all the way down to the end of my street on this cul-de-sac. Now keep in mind, this cul-de-sac is like a smiley face like sidewalk and then public street for like until the end of the street. So not even the house to our direct left, but like two houses down to the left. 
there's some Asian woman. And she comes out and like most of the neighbors when we're playing baseball around their house, we're like, you need to be careful. And But most of the time we're like, oh, it's just a sock. They're like, oh, okay, we're chill. But this woman comes out and says, you can't play here. You're not allowed to play here. But normally that would be perfectly fine. I'm totally used to people yelling at me. My entire childhood was filled with it. But she took it a step further. She comes out of her driveway, goes all the way into the end of the street, and then parks at the street and just sits there and waits for us to move. And when we don't move, she just gives up and drives away. And this is where the wussy friend part comes in. We have my friend, we'll just call him uh, Richard. He legitimately puts his hands together like this, which is what he does when he's scared. And he kind of puts his hands up like this. Bro, is she gonna call the cops on us? Like, I really don't want the cops getting called on us. It's like, yes, Richard, they're really going to call the cops on us for playing in a public street with a sock. And of course, he wasn't the same the rest of the day. He's like, bro, we're gonna get the cops called on us. And then every time a ball rolled in somebody's driveway, he would like freak out and he can never find the ball. It's just, <sighs> Sometimes this friend can be cool, but other times he just needs to take a chill pill. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, please like it. If you dislike it, please dislike it. And if you really like it, add it to your favorites. I will see you guys some other time.